Libraries play a vital role in society and in the success of any government. The Senator realizes this, and she treats library inquiries with respect and with sincerity. Please join me in thanking Senator Lisbeth Benequisto for her efforts in behalf of Florida's multi-type library cooperatives, especially Swiftland. Senator, would you kindly come up? do this uh, even if nobody was watching. That's how important I feel libraries are. I thank Hodges for uh, hosting the group this afternoon. I thank you all for the hard work that you do on behalf of our shared constituency. And we grew up in the library. I shared this with you last year, but it is so much a part of what drives my commitment to helping libraries be stable and be the, the hope and haven for discovery and and, and connection to words that go beyond the community that a person lives in. And, and when you talk about resiliency in this, in this very special moment in time, some see it as very bad, some see it as a time for opportunity, but it's a time when there are a couple of constants. And one of those constants is the love of reading. Because whether you're trying to lose yourself in a book or find yourself in a book, the words have meaning and they, they project more. And, and, and I just think it's a very special opportunity for folks to learn, grow, and explore. And we, we were very proud last year, not just to get the money for the library cooperatives, but um, you all know better than I can share with you today that libraries, because they're so important, were always the entity, the institution that was used as a bargaining chip. And at the end of the budget cycle, it would be the libraries that would get funded absolutely last. And I had the great privilege to chair the committee that oversaw libraries last year. If anybody didn't like libraries, it would be to put me in charge. <laughs> but, but I had that good, good fortune. And from the moment that my budget hit the street, the libraries were funded in total. And not only were you funded in total, you were funded in a way in which you hadn't been before, which is in recurring general revenue. $13 million of your $21 million budget is recurring money. You're not gonna, we're always gonna be ready for a fight. But I'm hopeful that as we move forward, you are not going to be, as the libraries, wondering to the last moment whether you're gonna be able to survive and serve your community. So if that's all I ever do in my time in public service, it's an honor to have done that. But I know that uh, as we approach session, we wait for the president to give us our assignments. Wherever he puts me, know that first and foremost, as a come home uh, success uh, item, is to have the libraries funded in full. So I just share in, in, in closing how for each of you, as you, I said this earlier, we do this 60 days a year. We are in session and we craft a budget 60 days a year. But you are day in and day out, sharing new books, encouraging the love and new readers, keeping that hope and dream alive for folks who, uh, who maybe forgot to come to the library for a couple of weeks, but now they're back. And so that's what propels and drives the success of our community. So my thanks are to you for all of your work, for all you give, and uh, we look forward to working with you for a very long time. Thank you. Thank you.